Hey guys, it's Brit. Tonight I am here to react to a girl defined video. So if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so here's the thing. Before the peanut gallery goes off in the comment section, I am not sending hate to Girl Defined. I don't agree with their channel or the message that they're sending to young girls specifically, but they have a video that I think fits well on my channel. And I saw this video called How to Wear Makeup in a God-Honoring Way. And I thought that this was really interesting. I want to hear what they have to say and give you guys my reactions. And I haven't watched it, so I saw the title and I assume that this is going to make for a good video. If it doesn't, then you won't ever see this. But uh, if you're seeing it, then I was able to, you know, add some color and give my comments on it. So let's get started. If you guys don't know who Girl Define is, they have a semi-decent following on YouTube. Cody Ko actually reacted to one of their videos a while ago. That's actually how I discovered his channel. And I think he's hilarious. His Girl Define videos, I think he has three of them. They are very highly viewed. People love them. I'm not the comedic genius that Cody Ko is. I still think that it's very interesting the way that they go about spreading their message. They apply their message to fashion, beauty, um, very small life decisions, holidays like Halloween, you know, going to the pool, wearing swimsuits. It's all a little bit much in my personal opinion, but we're going to see what they have to say about makeup and I'll give you guys my thoughts as we go through the video. Hey guys, it's Kristen and Bethany here with Girl Defined Ministries and in today's vlog, we're going to be sharing with you something <laughs> fun and practical how to wear makeup in a God honoring way. So these girls do the same thing that Mike Costoffer does with the brightness in their videos. They are so blown out. You can barely even see their noses. It, you know, if, it, if their brows weren't filled in, you wouldn't be able to see their eyebrows. Why does everything need to be so bright? I don't understand it. I'm all about good lighting for a video. But with this and other, you know, influencers, Micah and other influencers that I've seen, it's so blown out. It just looks ridiculous. Thinking back to when we first started wearing makeup and really just experiencing <laughs> with makeup, we get like a literally a comedy show just watching our old videos I and looking up. at our pictures because we had no <laughs> idea what we were doing. It's a nightmare. Oh, like I think I started out first of all. These girls are very, very loud and this is the type of persona that I run away from. I understand that they're not trying to be, they're trying to not be like monotone and boring or whatever, but it's very over the top. And watching videos like this, I can only take in very small doses because it's so much the opposite of my personality where, you know, I keep pretty much the same tone. I'm very level-headed. I talk to you guys like you're sitting right in front of me. I'm not like da 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 and acting all crazy. These girls are a lot already and we're only 23 seconds in. With like this bright like purple eyeshadow. I remember the purple eyeshadow? <laughs> it was, like, it was shiny. like shiny. It was like shiny purple. <laughs> That's all I wore. Just like I remember purple that. eyeshadow. Like wow I'm not sure what I was thinking. So I'm sure you look back on some of your pictures when you're younger and think um, well, So first of all shimmery purple eyeshadow. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't even know if she's being completely honest in this because that seems like very cliche to say the first eyeshadow I wore was this shimmery purple eyeshadow all over my eyes. Who knows? Maybe she actually did. I don't know. I didn't go to school with these girls. I don't know who they are in real life. There's nothing wrong with shimmery purple eyeshadow. Do I think that there are some techniques that you can use to just make it more visually appealing? Sure, but there's nothing wrong with shimmery purple eyeshadow. Wow, yes. what was I doing? But I remember as I got a little bit older, we both went through this phase that we call the raccoon phase, <laughs> where we thought that more eyeliner was better. Like we thought as much as we could possibly get on our eyes, like the better it would make us look. And so I remember one time we put so much on and we just thought like, wow, this is awesome. Cause we didn't know what we were doing. We didn't know how to wear makeup. And we were at this conference and I remember this, we were talking to these, this like, don't these girls. <laughs> and this really, their dad came over and he was like being super sweet and he's just kind of 
kind of commented, do you remember this? And he's oh, like, hey, girls. Yeah. Like, y'all are such beautiful young women, but just, like, kind of a, a thought. Like, maybe if you wore less eyeliner, it would have maybe enhance your natural features even more. And we were kind of like, what? Is this random dad, like, really giving us makeup advice? Because we advice? everything Oh, you know. Makeup. Like, when you're young, you think you know it all. And so that was a very humbling experience. Well, because, because, yes, because it was our, our makeup was, it wasn't just, like, eyeliner. I wear eyeliner now, but it was, like, we're oh, talking, rat. I mean, raccoon. <laughs> like, it was, like, black circle. So... Thankfully, we learned more isn't always better. And as we got older, we can... Okay, let's be real. Nobody... I went through the heavy eyeliner phase when I was, like, right out of high school. Nobody is doing this. Let's be real. Even if you are wearing a lot, say that you put it all over your lid and under your eye. That's not this. Continue to learn and grow in our understanding of makeup. And then we started asking, like, what does God think about makeup? Yeah. What do other, like, what do other wise godly women say about makeup? Yeah. So we did a lot of research. And in this video, this is gonna be down to earth fun. At the end, we're even gonna share, we're gonna open up our makeup bags yes. and just give you some of our favorite, like show you some of our favorite products that we like to use. So we hope you find this practical and helpful as we talk mm. about really how to wear makeup in a God honoring way. So for me, when it comes to most things in life, I want like black <laughs> and white answers. I'm very black and white, yeah. and I wanna know what's right, what's wrong, just tell me what to do and I'll follow it. And when it comes to makeup, I kind of wanted this. So in my opinion already, these two subject matters do not belong in the same video. The style of makeup or what makeup you wear and your position on religion should have, like they make it make sense. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me whatsoever. And this goes back to what I was saying earlier. They constantly try to have God in the middle of everything. And it's applied to every little facet of their life. I think if they would kind of take a step back and not try to apply it to every single facet of their life, maybe people would open, maybe people would listen with a little bit more of an open ear. But this is just silly already same thing like wear this where you know you can wear lipstick but no highlighter okay great i can do that just give me the guide and i will follow it but when it comes to the bible there are certain things that the bible is very clear about like okay having sex before marriage that is a black and white answer the bible is very clear that sex should be safe through the marriage bed alone between one man and one woman like there's no questions and for me i'm like okay that makes sense i can follow that but then when it comes to something like physical boundaries in a relationship the bible maybe in a dating relationship if the bible isn't like okay you may you know have two inches between you yes. one holding your hand and that's it it's like it doesn't give that it gives you wisdom and the principles and you see the black and white of saving sex for a marriage but besides that it's like you know you kind of have to dig deep and use the wisdom that it offers and in a lot of ways that can be hard because you you want the black and white sometimes and so when it comes to the the area of makeup what we have to do is we have to take what scripture says about it and then when we have to use that to as wisdom to kind of guide us and to kind of make decisions using what the bible says not adding to it mm. but not taking away from it you mean the bible doesn't have in the back with the maps like a guide for makeup like tutorial yeah, like it doesn't have that in the back Come i on. wish that would be nice like the perfect holy makeup yeah. <laughs> or nothing but it doesn't do that i'm sorry this is so down to earth and casual y'all we're just having way too much fun with y'all but we're hoping to share with you a, a, one of the main verses that we've read on the topic of makeup a lot you know the verse you've probably heard before kind of discuss it what it what we believe it needs and then hopefully gain some wisdom from that verse so there isn't one specific verse that talks directly about makeup but there are a lot of verses that talk about our design as women and then our design as christians and yeah. how we can best honor god in our lives so the verse that we've really looked at and that we're going to look at today really quickly comes from first so it sounds like what they're going to do here and i could be wrong again haven't seen the video but it sounds like they're going to take pieces of the bible and apply it to whatever it is that they're talking about. They're gonna make a square fit into a circle and apply certain parts of the Bible to whatever it is that they're talking about, whether it be holidays, um, you know, weddings, makeup, style, vacations. I think that's what they're gonna do here. I could be completely wrong, but again, just the fact that they're even doing this for the topic of makeup is so silly and the whole thing with <laughs> they did put it in black and white on you know saving sex for marriage and between a man and a woman and 
I don't subscribe to all of that. It's just not my, it's not the way that I look at things personally, and I won't go too far into that rabbit hole, but it sounds like they're going to try to take parts of the Bible and fit it, make it fit into what it is that they're talking about so that they have a YouTube video. First Timothy 2, 9 through 10. And this is something I'm sure you've all heard, but just listen up because the context is really interesting. It says, likewise also that women should adorn themselves in respectable apparel with modesty and self-control, not with braided hair and gold or pearls or costly attire, but what is proper for women who profess godliness mm -hmm. with good works. And so you might think, okay, wait, is this first saying we can't wear like pearls or costly attire? Like, what does this mean? But when you dig into the context of this verse and you get at the heart behind what is trying to be communicated in this passage, what we see is that this was being written actually and directing towards the Christian women of that day, back in the day, in their culture, in their context. And what yeah. was happening is that there were a lot of women who would dress in ways, the pearls, the costly attire, that's referring to a lot of the ungodly men, women of the day, really the temple prostitutes would often dress in these kind of ways. And so essentially what this passage is saying and trying to communicate to even us as women today in our modern day yeah. is, hey, God's women, Christian women should dress and act and look a way that re represents holiness, that represents purity, that represents women who are set yeah. apart, women who reflect God in a beautiful way, but do it in a way with purity and holiness and hearts of humility. And that's where it should start mm. in our hearts. And so we can take that context and say, okay, for today, our outward appearance, God cares about more so he cares about our yeah. heart and our hearts should out of that overflow, how yeah. we dress, how we act. But it's so much more than makeup. It's makeup, it's clothes, it's everything about us. God wants us as, as women, as Christian women in this modern day and age to dress, to act, to... I still think it's so ridiculous that they're trying to take this and apply it to makeup. It is the most ridiculous thing I've seen in quite a long time, actually. And it's funny because I might be wrong, but it looks like both of them have braids in their hair. So you need to redo your hair because y'all have braids in it. Look in a way that reflects a heart of purity, holiness, and modesty. And so when talking about makeup, we believe, and we've come to the conclusion that there are ways that we can enjoy makeup in a fun, God-honoring way that still portrays the purity and holiness that God is wanting for Christian women. But because this is a wisdom issue and the Bible doesn't have that tutorial in the back with exactly what we should or shouldn't do, we know that we may land on different pages and or have different convictions in this area. And we totally know that and that's okay. Really the heart should be a heart that wants to honor God. And through that, wherever you land, make sure that that's your heart's motive. So whether you land on the page of like, you know, I just, I don't feel like makeup is a good decision for me, my heart and just what I believe. I don't think that's a good one. That's fine. Or you may be someone who lands and says, yes, I think makeup is okay in the right context or in this situation. That's kind of not the point of should we or shouldn't we. It's really what we're trying to get at is the heart of, is your heart desiring to honor God? Is it a heart of humility? Like Kristen said, are we trying to look like the world and are we trying to, you know, kind of appear kind of, you know, sexual or kind of, you know, raunchy or any of those sorts of ways? Or are Anyone who's not dressed head to toe in a really conservative outfit with minimal or no makeup on is not holy. So that's the vibe that I'm getting from this video so far. And this reminds me a lot of Classically Abby. I have a video on her as well. And these radical ways of thinking, it's fine. If that's your vibe, that's your vibe. But my problem is that these videos are pushed out to many young, impressionable girls and they will look at this and say, well, if I want to wear, uh, you know, a lot of eyeshadow, then I'm not going to be looked at as holy. It's a way to mess with them mentally. And I don't think that it might not be the intention of these channels. Are we trying to honor God? So really just think about the heart's motive. Don't get caught up on the should or shouldn't, but really focus on the heart of what we're trying to say in this. But the one thing that we do see in scripture is that God created women to be beautiful. When Eve came onto the scene, it's like, wow, everything <laughs> is good now. The curves, just everything. So he wanted everyone to be beautiful or whatever it is that she just said there. So why can't I wear a lot of makeup? Do you really think that 
God is going to look at you and say, you have a little bit too much uh, eyeshadow on. I might have to take a point away. You know, this is so fucking stupid. It's just such a dumb way of looking at things. To try to have these two things coexist is ridiculous in my opinion about us and you see like even the world gets this in the culture who are they putting on the fronts of the magazines <laughs> it's these beautiful women to showcase their beauty not in typically a god honoring way but we need to realize like we were created to be beautiful creatures yes we are that beauty is a good and wonderful thing and i am like as girly girl as they come like to the core i am like sparkles and pink and that's just the way personally Kristen's not as much <laughs> but we both love to enjoy the beauty that God that God mm -hmm. gave to us and with makeup we kind of view it as like well we do live in a fallen world and along with that we get some really dark circles we get some acne some pimples does Blushes. anyone still in our late 20s and now 30s pimples what yeah. in the world and so we view just like deodorant we use that to freshen up <laughs> or toothpaste to, br to freshen that breath or whatever you know lotions when we, we have brush our crusty hair skin, brush our skin we kind of view makeup for us in that same sort of way so if we have dark circles we might cover them and honestly we both just enjoy makeup enjoy enhancing enhancing the beauty that god has given us so that's kind of our view on it and that's what we love just don't you know don't feel like your beauty is a bad thing or like oh i can't i can't enjoy the mm -hmm. beauty the way that god designed me like oh, i need to hide yeah. it or and this that, is a bad thing yes and not even enhancing it is a bad thing that oh well if god gave us natural beauty Beauty, then we should just leave it but I think he gave us natural yeah. beauty but like you said we live in a fallen world so enhancing it even highlights that yes. I think can highlight it even more yeah, it's fun it's super super fun and so because we have so much fun in this area we thought it would be really fun to show off some of our favorite products now we are not makeup professionals or makeup pros no. but we just want to share with you a few things that we use that are really fun to so it sounds like to me their problem is not so much that you can't wear makeup at all but you're not allowed to wear too much of it. That is what I am getting from this video. And it's still stupid to me. It still makes no fucking sense whatsoever because if you're sitting there and you're trying to send this message that if you wear a lot of makeup, then you're not honoring God, I don't understand who that's gonna resonate with unless it's a young girl who looks at these girls as role models, which in my opinion could be very problematic. It's just blasphemy in my opinion. I can't, and they try to like reword their message a few different ways, but again, they're taking parts of the Bible and fitting it into their narrative, which I also don't agree with at all. Help us enhance our God-given beauty. We have been wanting to do this for a really long time. We know a lot of you have asked for makeup tutorials, and maybe we'll get to that someday. We but for now, we thought it'd be fun just to show you some of the products, and we have a yeah. lot of really different products. So for me, I get really dark circles, like really dark circles. Like now, whole life. we're both very fair-skinned, anyways, and so when we don't have makeup on, like our faces kind of disappear. So <laughs> what you use is going to vary based on your skin tone, yes. your color, like how, how dark or light your features are. So because I get such dark circles, I use this stuff. It's going to be hard to see, but. So the first product that she pulls out is from MAC and it's actually their Select Cover Up Concealer. What's very interesting to me about this is that you would think if you want to wear makeup in a God honoring way, the bare minimum that you could do is be cruelty free. So you're, you're using products from MAC and I use products from MAC, but I'm also not sitting here telling you guys that this is how to wear makeup to honor God. So you're gonna use products that are tested on animals while you do your makeup in a style that is honoring God. I don't think that God would support testing on animals. I don't know about you guys. Okay, so they go through some of their other makeup picks. To me, that's kind of boring. I wanted to focus more on their message here. It's just such a huge problem in my opinion. A lot of the other videos that they have on their channel are just ridiculous. If I'm being completely honest, they just take every little detail of life and tie it to being God honoring or being a good Christian or, 
you know, whatever it is, I don't agree with that. If you're going to be, let's just say that, you know, you are very religious and you want to have a YouTube channel, I don't believe in pushing this narrative that you're not allowed to wear a swimsuit, you're not allowed to wear a lot of makeup, you're not allowed to wear short skirts, you're not allowed to, um, you know, celebrate Halloween, and if you do, you're not allowed to have a sexy costume, and all of these just bizarre videos, how, you know, uh, how being tempted by uh, sex and all of the, like I'm looking on their page right now. Why porn is a counterfeit version of intimacy? Could, should Christian girls use TikTok? Like all of these videos are just absolutely, absolutely ridiculous in my opinion. And I could never react to a lot of their videos because it starts to actually get me upset knowing that there are young girls watching these two girls and actually thinking that their messages are valid and something that they should follow. But as far as wearing your makeup in a God-honoring way, I think it's absolutely ridiculous. If you want to wear a full smoky eye and a red lip and crazy contour, do it. I personally don't see God, whoever God is to you, looking over you and saying, well, I don't like you as much today because you have that blue eyeshadow on. Like, it's ridiculous. So that's kind of my thoughts on Girl Define encapsulated in a quick video. I hope that it all made sense. If you liked the video, please leave me a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.